Bitcoin's price plummeted to a two-month low last Friday after going through an unexpected growth spurt shortly before Christmas. Mr. Veroni said the crash signaled the financial sector is not prepared to own Bitcoin yet, and investors should wait to plunge into the crypto market until prices stabilize. He said, we are not ready to own Bitcoin yet. I think this goes lower before it ultimately goes higher, the trend is clearly down, we are down 60% from the highs not long ago. Until it stabilizes you can't touch it. Getty Bloomberg Bitcoin price Chris Veroni suggested investors should wait until Bitcoin's price stabilizes. Bitcoin is crashed down to $6,831.84 at 7.28 p.m. on Monday after UK High Street Bank Lloyds banned all cryptocurrency payments on its credit cards. The ban extends to other household names in the banking giant's credit card family including Bank of Scotland, Halifax and MBNA. Wallet holders would have been hoping for a better start to the week. But news of another main finance firm being spooked by price volatility and regulatory threats means that other credit cards retailers around the world will be studying the fallout from Lloyd's ban. Concerns have arisen among credit card providers because their customers have increasingly been using credit cards to fund accounts on exchanges, which are then used to purchase the digital currencies. Last week MasterCard, the world's second biggest payments network, said customers buying cryptocurrencies with credit cards fueled a 1% increase in overseas transaction volumes. But Mr. Varoni remained optimistic about Bitcoin, saying it was too early to declare Bitcoin was completely finished. Until it stabilizes you can't touch it, Chris Veroni he told Bloomberg, despite a 60% drawdown, Bitcoin is still above its 200-day average. Look at the 200-day average as the place where this ultimately shakes out, I think it's too early to say this is finished forever. This is a really really good shakeout after an exceptional move, the financial consultancy Devia Group predicts demand cryptocurrencies will skyrocket in the next 12 months. Bitcoin, the group claim, could gain by 50 to 60 percent and will remain highly volatile as it comes under increasing pressure from Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's competitor XRP Ripple is also expected to see price soars over the coming months should the firm succeed in striking new deals with major financial companies. Ripple's advantage over other currencies is its near-instant international payments, which are processed in just 10 to 15 seconds. Ripple was trading for 69 cents at 7.28 p.m. while third cryptocurrency big name Ethereum was selling for $674.80. Last week the Ripple team completed two new partnership agreements. The first was with the telecom company IDT. And the second was with international payment service Mercury FX. Ripple will also test the functionality of XRapid Ripple, based on the Ripple token, XRP, which has been designed to lower commissions when making payments.